Hi everyone. Um, thank you for coming. Yeah, hi everyone. Um, I am so happy to be here. Uh, it's actually now midnight in Malaysia where I am right now, and it's raining very heavily. So I'm hoping that um, you know the the uh, internet access will be quite okay. Yeah, otherwise I have to switch off my video. But um, I'm I'm quite excited to talk about this today because I've been experimenting with my blog. Yeah, with my own blog. And um, I believe that many teachers, most possibly, they have their own blogs, but they have not monetized, um, uh, you know, their blog. So, hi, Shandy, you're here, right? Welcome. Um, you know, uh, I'm catching up with so many friends on Facebook. Um, some of them I've been friends, I've never met them, but some of them I've interacted, you know, in PMs, uh, DMs, direct messages. Uh, and I believe I have... I will. I have to start sharing on how you can actually earn some money, yeah, by selling courses or by becoming affiliates on your blog. Yeah, so I'm going to share how I have done. Uh, I'm not a millionaire yet. Yeah, hoping to, but uh, I believe we can do this. Yeah, because teachers they have a lot of resource and they, they once you know how to manage your blogs and when you know how to put the links, you should be okay. All right. So let me just go to the uh, next slide. So. Uh, please bear with me. Um, this uh, presentation is, I I would suggest, good for uh, novice teachers or you know beginner teachers who are just uh, starting to build their blogs. Yeah, for those who are who are the expert, you know, this might be a little um, um, you know very beginning for you. Yeah, because I'll be talking about the basic things. Right. So let's go on. Uh huh. So what? Is it, yeah, what is the overview of this whole thing? So I'll be sharing about, you know, what I've been doing about myself uh, and what is a blog. Yeah, so if, you have, if you're not familiar with the concept of a blog, what is it? And how do you create quick and a free blog? Yeah, there are plenty of sites over there. Um, and how do you integrate social media? How do you, how do you put uh, Facebook, Twitter together? Yeah, and how do you automate the process? Yeah, there, there are some um, things that you can do that you don't have to actually um, you know, copy and paste and put the links, but you can actually automate them, you know, automating the process. And what are the differences between having your own products, yeah, perhaps your own ebooks, your own courses, or and also having affiliates products where you are registered as you know the seller of the products. So how do you do that, and what are the differences that I found out? And lastly, I'll be giving you some checklists, yeah, if you want to do this, what are the things that you're supposed to do, right? So let's go on. Some of you might have known me from uh, Facebook. So if you're on Facebook, get connected to me, yeah, because that's the fastest. I'm there almost 24/7, uh, and I and my Facebook is also on my mobile phone, so I get notification most times. Uh, and the the best way to know about my work is go to the website alitaatnat.webnote.com, which is actually a blog site, yeah. And I haven't, uh, I I didn't really uh, thought about how to monetize the site until recently. And now, once I put the links, then I can see, wow, you can actually make some money, not too much, but at least you know you are earning things passively, yeah, from the the blog. So this is what I I, I am sharing. Um, okay, so if you are very familiar with blogs, Blogger I think is the most. Yeah, many people use Blogspot.com. Yeah, to to put on uh, their work and mainly some personal blog. WordPress is another. Yeah, WordPress is quite simple, but maybe um, yeah, you need to learn here and there. But what I found the most user friendly, friendly is WebNote, which I am using. Yeah, because uh, it simply gives you uh, the right template, and you simply copy and paste, and you simply upload photos. You know, it is very very uh, easy. Uh, Weebly is another. Yeah, so you can choose. You can simply Google um, a free blog or free site, and I, I can easily say that even the uh, the novice uh, teachers can start uh, doing blog blogs in five or ten minutes. Yeah, so I, I I believe that most of you already know about this. But how do you turn these blogs into money making machine for you on the internet? Yeah, um, and um, I've known this before actually, but I haven't experimented. But once I started knowing what to put and where to put them, then, you know, I'm very happy doing this. So, let's just see. Um, um, I don't believe, yeah, Mega Miss Academy it, it is, but uh, actually I will direct you to this. Um, let me just go here. Thank you, um, Brian, for that. 
that one. And also there's another one which is Megabits Academy, but this is um, not so active. I, I didn't really, you know, I, I don't really put too many things in there. Uh, but Anita and then webnote.com is the best thing, yeah, because there, there are so many things in there. Right, so what are the things that you need to do before you start doing your blog, before you, you know, you decide to do this? There are some things that you need to think, think, think about, yeah? So what is your niche? Definitely, if you are English teachers, so you might want to put, you know, the niche will be English teaching, English classes, and uh, especially if you are EFL teachers, there will be so many courses that you can do. We can do IELTS, we can do TOEFL, we can do GMAT, you know, there are so, so many things. Um, and in Malaysia, where I am now, uh, students are very, um, you know, it, it's very easy to find students who want to have some spoken, you know, conversation, yeah, online, on Skype. So you can do that, uh, and you can also do some coaching for the teachers. Yeah, uh, there are also niches like ICT tools, how to help other teachers, you know, with ICT tools. So there are a lot of niche that you can you can think about. But please make sure that it is your passion, yeah, because if you don't have passion for that, um, you know, it's, it's going to be very difficult. And I believe that my passion towards English has now been turned into internet marketing because I believe uh, that uh, English is the tool. But once you know the, the, the tips, and tri uh, tips and tricks on how you can manage the blog, you know, to make some money, you will then channel yourself, you know, simply to internet marketing. And I have gotten enough information to do that, yeah, which is what I'm sharing. Um, and number two, obviously, you need to decide which platform to use. Um, let me just share some experience. I am a fan of, you know, starting one blog and then leave it and then start another which is not good at all. Yes, Tumblr. Yeah, Tumblr is, is very, very good and very easy. Uh, my advice is start with one and stick with it. Yeah, so that is why you need to um, you need to play around, yeah, experiment and choose which platform that you are most comfortable. I have I have done a Blogger, yeah, I've done a Blogspot, but I found that Webnote is so much easier because uh, of the interface. Yeah, it's very user friendly. And I started my web note back in 2007, so it was you know, quite uh, many years ago. And um, I found that they are also very, um, you know, the, I'm, I'm using a free account. Yeah, I didn't pay anything. Uh, and my domain is also free. So, you know, if you're not too crazy about anitaadnan.com, you know, having a .com behind your name, so then um, it's, it's okay. But if you want to, to do the branding, so perhaps .com is very important, which brings me to the domain name, whether it's free or paid. Yeah, so I'm so far currently I'm using the free one. Yeah, so I'm that man at what no, .com. I might consider the .com one later once I have enough money you know, to sustain uh, the management of the blog. And then of course, obviously, you, you need to host your blog somewhere. Where do you put up your blog? You know, on on the web. Um, this is something you might consider so that you know it, it's safe there. And um, the advice is to have another mirror block so that you know you have those things together if on the free one and also on the paid one. Um, number five, of course, you need to upload the contents. Yeah, the contents could be whatever things that you write, and then you can also put in your ebooks. You can also put your affiliate links. Yeah, um, how does affiliate work? Okay, affiliates is just like you are the salesperson of a certain product. So, for example, uh, WizIQ, definitely, uh, you can become affiliates for WizIQ, meaning you have to apply to them saying that you want to sell WizIQ, and then they will give you the link and you simply copy and paste the HTML link to your blog, uh, which I believe is quite useful because, as uh, you can see, how, uh, many, how many thousands of links that you can put on your blog. Yeah, I'm going to share with you later what I have done on my blog. Um, and then, of course, after that, you need to create your payment gateway, which is uh, normally PayPal, yeah, so that uh, all um, um, payment from all over the world can come in. You can also use your bank account. Yeah, so that's that's quite easy to do. Uh, and late, uh, the last thing is to keep updating the content and promote it on the social media, which is Facebook and Twitter. Yeah. And you, you also need to have your own YouTube account so that you can uh, upload, you know, whatever talks that you do. And that's why you see me doing all these talks now. Yeah, it, it is free, but this is the the kind of way that you use um, in order for you to promote your work. Okay, so yeah.
I don't know what happened to my screen. It's freeze now. Uh, but I do hope you can hear me. Yeah. So, could be... Yeah. Can everyone hear me? Ah, okay. All right. So, could be the... the um, the line is not that good. Yeah, okay, then great. So let me just um continue. Okay. Uh, just later on I'll be sharing my screen. Right. So how do you integrate social media with blogs? Um you should automate the process. Yep. So once you have your Facebook link, you have your YouTube channel, you have your Twitter and some people have their Instagram, you should put them together and you should automate the process by uh creating posts earlier posts yeah uh the one app that i'm very happy to 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 share is buffer app it's called buffer yeah so if you google buffer yeah buffer app um what you can do is simply put what are the things that you want buffer to to send to your facebook to your youtube to your twitter so in that way you don't really have to be online all the time yeah so this is this is some trick little tricks that we use uh, when we integrate social media with our blogs when you update and then uh, it will appear in your uh, channel. Um, and of course, our RSS feed is also another one. Yeah, uh, when people subscribe to you and they will get notification of your uh, whatever updates that you have used. So let me just go to the next one. Right. So one question that I normally get from my friends, yeah, from my colleagues: Do I need to have my own products to sell? Well, it's yes and no. Yeah. Yes, you can have your own product. Yeah, you can write your own ebooks, you can write your own modules, you can write your own courses, but it may take some time. But once you have your own product, you can also give the reselling rights to others. Yeah, by saying that, okay, I have this ebook on how do I teach online, for example. You can then, I can then give resell rights to Dr. Nelly. You know, you can sell my uh, ebooks for 50%, you know, from the total price, which is kind of cool. Because what you are doing is you are making other people promoting your product, yeah? And that is the fastest way to do it. If you don't have enough time to write um, the books, yeah, the e-books or the e-courses, you can always get affiliate products. So I'm going to share where do we find all this affiliate, yeah? So uh, as, as a general rule, what you can do if you go to Google, you can simply uh, type educational affiliate program or uh, e-books affiliate program. Yeah, depending on your niche or a technology, you know, affiliate program. So there will come a list. There will be a list of all the products that other people want uh, you to sell. Okay. Um, right. So what is the checklist? Um, of course, like I said, uh, if you have a niche, if you have a niche, if you have a passion, you know, you should create something out of that. And not just because of that, you can then start earning money. Yeah. And I believe many English teachers have started teaching online too, you know, with via Skype. Uh, they can do it via what with IQ. They can also do it via webinars. And uh, in Malaysia, what we are currently doing, I'm also the admin and founder of a big uh, doctorate support group. We are currently um, monetizing this this space where we invite speakers to come, and um, attendees will have to pay. Yeah, so that is another way of making money online that you can start exploring, uh, especially if you're English teachers. Um, I believe English teachers have all the flexibility because you know the, the, the language as a tool. Yeah, I'm making you the uh, actually there are so many opportunities that you can you can uh, take. Um, of course, yeah, get domain name and host hosting space, and then to find the affiliate product products, where where do you find them? Um, I'm going to share later on. Um, and uh, we can uh, have a look at how you do that. Um, PayPal is the easiest payment gateway, I found. Yeah, but in some countries, you know, PayPal might be difficult, so you might want to also share your uh, bank account. Um, and of course, promote them in social media. Uh, I've been working with uh, on Facebook most of the time, and Facebook has this system of viral, you know, making it making your post viral, and I believe that makes it so easy. Um, you can also after that, once you start uh, earning money from one blog, you know, with one niche, you can then replicate the process with other niches or other topics. Yeah. So I do have now, I think about four or five. I have uh, something on English, and then I have something on tourism, where we actually uh, collect people who do homestays, yeah, rental of homestays, 
and then I also have a, another niche on um, uh, making money online. Yeah. So in order for me to make money online, I need to teach other people to make money online. Yeah? So if that makes sense. So I would like now to share my screen so that I can show you what I have on my blog and how do they, um, you know, how do I, what happens when people click on the link. Okay, let me just share my screen. Right. Oops. Okay. So I hope you can see this. Um, Dr. Nelly, can you confirm me that you can see the screen? Oops. Okay. So I do hope you can see it. Because what I'm doing now is this is the blog that I'm talking about. Um, and when people come here, when they click on this link, let's say here, I will get 10% out of any purchase that they do here. Yeah, so that's Groupon. Um, but if they go to, and I also have others, like I have my books here. Some books that I promote. So if they click on, for example, okay, for example, they click on Udemy and buy some courses, I get the you know maybe eight percent or ten percent of the of the amount that they pay. Um, and this is what I've been doing for quite some time. And if they click on some book ebooks here or get the payment in my PayPal. So for me, I believe. That is a cool way uh, to earn money, yeah. Because um, what you are doing is you are actually uh, putting your 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 content and then making people to come to your blog once they read, you know, whatever that they want to read, and they can shop, yeah, <laughs> and they can simply click and buy. And so that is that's a little experiment that I've been doing, and I believe every English teachers. Every online uh, person should start doing it um, because um, you want to make you know your, the time that you spend online worthwhile rather than just uh, having it for free or you know uh, spending most of the time building your blogs without um, uh, earning some money. Of course, I do. I do know some some instructors and earn, earn money uh, via teaching yeah, or via coaching. Uh, but this is something that I would like to, to share and I would like to invite you if you want to learn how to do this, perhaps we can do it together. Yeah, perhaps, uh, you know, maybe later on we can have a, a, another sh short session on how do you design a, a blog or blogs that can give you money yeah, online. All right. So I believe that's it, Dr. Nelly. I don't really have, I think that's the end of it. Right. Okay. So if you want to. Um, contact me. Simply go to my Facebook, yeah, um, or my Twitter. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite active there. Um, and my email is anita.atlanda.yahoo.uk. Um, Facebook is the best place to get me because um, uh, I'm I'm always there managing the big group. Yeah, uh, and we currently we have now about forty thousand members uh, from the whole wide world, and I'm actually uh, using this group so that they can. Come to my site and then you know purchase some ebooks, purchase some modules, purchase some online courses, and I earn some money from that. All right. So, is there any questions? Um, I think many people are still, um, yeah, yeah, they, they do want to come. Right. Okay, Dr. Nelly, I'm actually done. <laughs> Quite short there. Only twenty minutes. <laughs> 